Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have Shinwoo's Strange Ghost Diner. Thank you Kika Goods for sending the set over to me to review with you guys. Check the link in the description box below to their shop and to this particular set. As well as a 10% discount code which is not affiliated which means I don't earn anything from it so feel free to use it as you please. With that being said, let's get to unboxing. The box design is really really nice. Turning over, we have 12 basic designs once again, but this time round we have two secrets. So the small secret is called clumsy mechanic and the big secret is called come on in to be honest all the basic ones look amazing but I don't mind getting the secret today secret count is still zero I am waiting for the day that I get a secret maybe today is the day all right let's go box number one they have really nice bags look at the design we get a sneak peek of some of the designs that we're going to get. Let's see what our first one is. Figurine number one is Heart Attack Sauce. Oh, the first one is so cute! We have a Shinwoo that is Sriracha Sauce. For people who eat spicy would probably know what Sriracha Sauce is and this is the exact same colors of the Sriracha Sauce so it is a very interesting design. And this is my first time seeing a Shinwoo figurine up close so they are really glossy and they are much bigger and denser than i thought very very cute so this shinwoo has glittery eyes and mouth in front it says heart attack sauce on the back is its composition so anger 13 percent fear 36 and hurt 51 I've known Shinwoo to be like a strange, creepy kind of character. So yeah, I am actually quite looking forward to seeing the rest. One thing I really like about Shinwoo is their use of colors. So bright, so contrasting. I think they'll be a really nice IP to own. Box number two. This one is called Do Not Blend. We have a side character. This is a tiny bear. It's not the big bear Shinwoo. So for obvious reasons, we should not blend this blender jet because there is a mini bear inside. I would prefer the bigger bears, but this mini one is really so adorable. And this blender is actually pretty on point. So we have the buttons in front. And we have a green cap, so this cap can be detached and the bear would just drop out like that. But one thing I love is the detail on the bear. It actually looks like it's being squished while it's inside the blender. So that is really cute. Let's turn it over. I like the stars on the blender. This is a very small one, as you guys can tell. So this one is the bear the big bear and this one is the small one. They are about the same height but I do prefer the bigger bears. But this is a cute side character and I believe this is the only mini bear in the entire series so we are going to be seeing more big bears after this. Box number three. This one feels very heavy. Box number three is Pasta Devil. So this Shinwu is a cat. It looks like a cat, right? The headdress that Shinwu is wearing. And this one is a Pasta Devil. So this is a ball of pasta. Shinwu is holding a fork. It's a little pasta sauce stain on it. It says caution, hot. And a really cute detail on the back. The pasta actually forms a skull design. That is so cute. Even has little horns on top. This one is really nice. I love the contrast of colors they used here. Mainly the purple, blue, and then the green. I really think pop toys have a really good way of mixing contrasting or clashing colors together to make their figurines look nice. Don't know how to do it, but I appreciate it. Box number four. This one feels heavy as well.
Figure four is Burger Flipper. So we have a pink to blue gradient Shinwu this time, and Shinwu is a burger flipper. So I'm assuming Shinwu made this little burger on top. Cute blue mittens and a spatula. Why does he have a band aid on its nose though? Turning over, Shinwu is wearing headphones. It says Baby Ghost. Maybe that's the brand. Adorable. And if you realize, the cheese actually makes up the fangs of this little burger. I think that's a pretty cute detail. But yeah, this one looks really nice as well. And it's glossy again. If I'm not mistaken, I think there are some figurines in this set that are matte. So looking forward to seeing those. Box number five. Figure number 5 is Toxic Soda. This one looks so cute! What a soft color they used. It looks like a vanilla kind of color they used for Shinwoo's skin here. And Shinwoo is wearing a bear hoodie of some sorts. Little dripping, melting whipped cream since Shinwoo is a soda. The soda looks kind of poisonous though with this little symbol here. Cute little straw sticking out. Shinwoo's wearing a visor, so maybe she prepared this soda for someone. On the back it says bear of the month. This one is really cute. I really like this one because it's pink. Let me know which one is your favorite so far because they all look pretty good to me so far. Box number six. Figure six is Shady Cleaner. Ooh, a figure that is matte for a first. This one looks really nice, but a little bit creepy if you notice the detail. There are some stains, red color stains on the glasses, the apron, and a little bit on the headdress. Up to interpretation what this exactly is, it could be blood, could be ketchup. I will for now assume that it's just ketchup sauce, right? Because they are a ghost diner and a diner would always have ketchup sauce. So most definitely not blood, right? So this Shinwu is a cleaner. It's a little cleaning agent on the right hand and gloves on the left. Protecting oneself from the chemicals. I like figures that have both the glossy and the matte finish. I think they make it look much better. So yeah, I think this one will be one of my favorite ones. What do you guys think? Box number seven. I'm not looking at the cards either because I want to surprise myself. Figure number seven is Snake Bite. Oh, this one has cool details. Number one, the color is so nice. We have pastel pink, and on the outside, the ghost shape is yellow to this really nice pastel pink. And one thing I love about this one, look at the ice cream. It's actually a little snake. What a cool detail. Love it. Would have been awesome if these two were snakes as well. I think that would look really cool. Love the glittery eyes and mouth. Shinwoo looks like it's melting, in fact, because I think Shinwoo was supposed to be ice cream for this one. So everywhere is melting. But yeah, this one is one of my favorite ones as well. Really, really cute. Box number eight. Figure number eight is more coffee. Ooh, this one is really cute as well. There's so many pink Shinwoo's in this set. So awesome. So I'm assuming Shinwoo is a waiter, waitress. So he's wearing like a half apron. It's a cute little bow. Here's his ghost. So that's quite cute. It's like the name is called Ghost. Shinwoo is holding a flask. Oh, there's a... There's a poison sign on it. It looks kind of shady, if you ask me. So, Shinwoo is serving coffee. Oh, it says menu. Hot. Poison 100%. Coffee. And it's recommending people to try it. Shinwoo is serving poison to people. 
That is actually pretty hilarious. What a cute figurine, a very interesting set. I'm actually quite tempted to get more Shinwoos now, seeing how vibrant they are and how detailed they are in their figurines. It's been a joy unboxing so far. Let me know what you guys think of this series. Box number 9. We haven't gotten the ones that I really want to see, which is the pizza cutter and DIY burger. So it's got to be one of these four. Figure number nine is Poisonous Donut. Oh, this one is a really cute one. I love the purple. Can you tell it's shimmery? It reminds me of the galaxy. This Shinwu is sitting in what seems like a donut. Yeah, it's called Poisonous Donut, but it looks more like a float, in fact. So Shinwu ate some of the poisonous mushrooms, I'm assuming, since there's a little bit of drool coming out, and it's green in color, same color as the mushroom, and the donut looks really poisonous, and it seems like Shinwu took a bite out of it. Here's the back. So shimmery, I love this one. Once again, half matte, half glossy, so this one will be one of my favorites as well. But this Shinwoo does not have sparkly mouth and eyes, but does have the swirls inside, so I believe Shinwoo had been poisoned already. What a cute figurine. Let me know if this one is your favorite. Box number 10. Figure 10 is Mustard Sniper. Oh wow, we have a really cute one again. Purple Shinwu with a blue headdress. And Shinwu is holding two water guns. This says one shot. This says one kill. And it's connected to a bottle of mustard at the back. It looks like a spaceship. There's even a sort of target thingy on Shinwu. Looks like he's wearing a kind of cap that a captain or a sailor would wear. I've actually recently grew really fond of mustard. I used to hate mustard so much, but recently they have been getting more and more delicious, so I think my taste is changing a little bit. But yes, so Shinwu has stars in his eyes this time. It looks like he finally has some pupils. For a first, at least based on what I know about Shinwu, which is usually just, you know, a circle and then nothing inside or the eyes. There's a little name tag here that says Ghost Again, similar to the previous one that we opened. But yeah, that is our third last figurine. Box number 11. We are really just missing the two that I really want. Pizza Cutter and a DIY Burger. So, I guess we're saving the best for the last. Figure 11 is Pizza Cutter. Yay, we finally opened this one. Isn't this one so amazing? I love the design. Number one, it's pink. <laughs> the pizza box is pink. It looks like it's actually chewing onto Shinwu. And Shinwu looks like he's sort of half transparent, but it's actually just the coloring. That is still so nice. On the back of the box, it says, Cut it for you pizza. Is pizza a pretty common food in your country? Because it's not really common in my country. Like, we eat it for occasions like parties or gatherings, but we don't really eat it as a meal by itself on a day-to-day -day basis. I do know some cultures who really love eating pizzas, so let me know if pizza is a national dish in your country. Super adorable figurine. This one will be on my table for a while. Our very last box, box number 12. We saved the best for the last. This one is a DIY burger. The one I was most looking forward to and we unboxed it last. So what a great finale. Shinwu has become a tomato, squished right in between what looks like really poisonous burger buns. And we have the cheese fangs again, that's really cute. And one thing about this burger is that the lettuce is actually inedible, it's a recycled signed plastic bag. Kudos to the artist for coming up with that. Even the burger looks 
a little bit dazed already. <laughs> Turning over, it says bite me, um, but it looks a little bit poisonous, so <laughs> not too sure why they want you to bite this burger. But yeah, this one was really heavy. The box was really full, so if you're looking for this one, look out for that sort of box. But I do know that Finding Unicorn adds weights into their boxes, so you're not going to have a very good estimation of what's inside each box. But you can always try a luck. But yes, that is figure number 12. Here is the full lineup. What do you guys think? Let me know your favorite characters in the comments below. Once again, many thanks to Kika Goods for sponsoring this video and for sending me my very first set of Shinwu. Do check them out, they have a wide range of blind boxes and they carry many many brands, not just Finding Unicorn. So you just might find something that you like there. Don't forget to use my 10% discount code, once again, non-affiliated, so feel free to use it if you want, I don't earn anything from it. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye!